Hey y'all, welcome back to Living Life with Net, and today we are going to be discussing my planner stack, my motivational stack, how I'm gonna get my life, how I'm gonna keep my life together stack. Okay, total disclaimer, this is going to be my third time filming this video, but that's all right, better late than never. Um, the footage just wouldn't work. So anyways, I wanted to come and show you all because you ask quite often how I like plan. And although in a perfect world, I would use the exact one planner for every single thing that's just not the reality for me i haven't found that one plan where i can kind of put everything all in one and consolidate every part of my life the planner will probably be super thick probably i don't know but who knows before i show you all of my planners and the notebooks that i use for every aspect of my life i wanted to tell you first that i use the paper mate flare pen in every single one I debated using the Sharpie gel pen. I just, I think I just write really hard and thick and bold. I, the gel pen, the Sharpie just did not work for me. So for me, I am using the Paper Mate, Paper Mate Flare Pen Black at that in all of my journals and my planners and my notebooks, whatever you want to call them. And I will put my Amazon store link down below i purchased a pack of 36 of these because uh hello i'm using it for every single planner and all the things the first journal that i wanted to share with you all is this journal and this little journal is from it's a little notebook from plum paper planner which is a company that i love you already know that and i received this a couple of years ago and didn't really write in it or anything my pen actually bled on it right here but um i am utilizing this little journal notebook as my gratitude journal so i literally just write i am grateful for and i can show this to you all i don't know if it's gonna show but we can try let's see uh something like that so i just put the date and then i put uh, i am grateful for and then i write affirmations down as though they have happened already now in full transparency this is a practice that i actually was introduced to from rachel hollis um a couple of years ago she calls it the start today journal i do not um purchase those products anymore so she also encourages you encourages you just to um take an old notebook and write those affirmations down and what you're grateful for so that's the first thing the second planner that i am utilizing this year actually comes from flamingo society and it's for my sorority one of my goals for 2021 is to be an active member of my sorority alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated and i wanted to make sure that i had a space dedicated just for all things aka and this is the um planner that i'm using i've never heard of this company before um this is not a planner that i would use in my everyday life um just because of the layout is not my personal fave but because um i received this i believe in my ivy box um i wanted to again use this to dedicate all things aka my planner that i have chosen to use for daily life weekly life work life is none other than the plum paper planner the seven by nine i um did a review of this planner and um i'll link it up here for you uh but my 2021 planner pick for again daily life i love this planner so much um i love it because it's so customizable and um you can add on things to it you can make it your own just to kind of incorporate different parts of your life for example as i mentioned in my planner pick the one thing that i forgot to add to this planner was the meal plan add-on i can't believe i forgot that because that's one of their add-ons that i absolutely love um when, especially when i used to meal plan um monthly so that was super helpful but i love 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 this planner i like it also because you can customize it to your liking in so many details you won't have to add too many things now for me personally 
um i haven't added much to it this year just kind of depending on like how i'm feeling so last year i added a couple of things to the planner and i didn't utilize it throughout the rest of the year so i'm trying to set myself up for success with my planner and also to let you know that i'm not the planner who switches planners throughout the year these planners are investments so i make the best of it if there's something that's not working i don't mind now i don't mind having a scratch off or putting a, a sticker because perfection is is not a real thing although i'm trying hard to achieve it i'll never achieve it because it's not real but this is my daily weekly planner i have also shared with you all my planner for 2021 that i'm going to utilize as my goals planner and that is the cultivate what matters planner again i'll put a link down below in the description box if you are interested in it but i've given you all the details about this planner i absolutely love this planner and um the way it breaks down each and every single one of your goals to make this broad goal into smaller quarterly monthly weekly daily goals to help you achieve them as best as you can and even if you don't that's okay this community from cultivate what matters is probably my top reason for continuing to use this planner for the last couple of years even in the midst of a pandemic guess what i still utilize this planner and was um successful with reaching my goals if you have not um heard about cultivate what matters please follow them on instagram you will not regret it and then finally for what you're here for living life with net my content planner i this year decided to get um a notebook from plum paper planner um told you i have a thing you you're getting the theme you're feeling the theme here i love plum paper planner so much um but i did decide this year to get a planner dedicated to all things living life with net um i even put like my brand colors on here or at least what i think my brand colors are i don't know they may change um but in this one um there's a note section and then i added on a social media section and in a note section um you'll see this in a video coming soon that i'm going to share with you how i set this up um but for this Per, for purposes for this video um i left it all blank but i'm gonna put my goals i'm actually typing up my goals for living life with net well i haven't typed up i just need to put them in here and then i am in um different classes for like social media for branding for sponsorships i'm just trying my best to make living life with net a resourceful brand that is my goal so i want to make sure that i set myself up pre-planning am i doing the things to educate myself in order for my brand to grow so that's what i'm doing so this note section here all of these blank pages are going are being utilized for um lives that i um watch um classes that i'm taking so all of ideas and education is going to go in this first section um i have a section for a checklist and this is why i added on this section um because there's a process for example i'm filming this video right now um i still have to edit it i have to add the music i have to create the thumbnail i have to take the thumbnail picture i have to make sure it's ready to get uploaded to um youtube i have to make sure it's on my linkedin um not linkedin my link tree um let's see i have to make sure the captions i have to make sure it's ready for facebook all of the things and so i utilize that checklist for those particular things again for video purpose this video um i just left everything blank but so that is what i am utilizing for my social media content planning here all right my friends those are all the planners that i am utilizing for 2021 for some of you this may seem overwhelming i promise you it works for me and if it becomes overwhelming guess what i'll make adjustments um but again you will see these planners quite often on my instagram on my youtube channel because i 100 can tell you i'm not going to change any planners i may stop utilizing one or a cover may change but i'm most likely 
highly likely not going to purchase another planner for 2021 un unless it's for 2022 uh, but these are my planners and my journals and all the things and i have them nice and neat on my desk um, on my planner table that i will take a picture so you can see how i actually um have these set up the only one that's probably you won't see on the um on my desk will be this one because i don't have to utilize this planner quite often probably like once or twice a month for sorority meetings and just random weekly meetings or something like that but I don't utilize it don't utilize it that much thank you all so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a random moment of living life with net bye y'all